Quadratology with me, your friend, your guide, C. N. K. Tucker. Now, last time we had discussed a term known as limited review. We know auditor does audit. Yeah, the chartered accountant does audit. And chartered accountant does a limited review, which is only for a listed entities. Now we are going to learn two more things which a chartered accountant does. We call it as agreed upon procedure. Number two is compilation. So today's discussion is about agreed upon procedure compilation. Before that, let me show you what is the new feature which is launched at an academy. We call it as UA Lite subscription. It's about the evaluated test series. Many students, they study, but as they don't have a writing practice, they are not able to present well in examination. For those people who want writing practice, and according to me, it's must. For those who want this writing practice, we have come out with a subscription which is only for evaluated test series. The subscription is known as UA Lite subscription. Under UA Lite subscription, you don't get lectures, you just get evaluated test series. You have 30 marker test, you have 60 marker test, and you also have a full 100 marker test as well. And it's conducted on a monthly basis. Take up this UA Lite subscription, test is for your best. Now coming to the today's term, agreed upon procedures and compilation. We know Chartered Accountant does audit, Chartered Accountant does limited review, which is only for listed entities. And now this agreed upon procedure. Imagine a company has taken a loan from a bank on security of a stock. I repeat, company has taken a loan from a bank on security of stock. Now whether the bank wants to know the stock figures which are there with the company? Definitely, sir, loan is secured by stock. The bank wants to know how much is the stock maintained by the company. So they, I repeat, bank appoints a chartered accountant. Bank is appointing a chartered accountant, telling the chartered accountant, you go to the company every month end. Okay, the chartered accountant will go to the company every month end or every quarter end. And bank is telling me to physically verify the stock. So physically count karo, up, you count it. So every quarter we go to the company, we count the stock, we got the quantity. They say you take the rate, the average rate, you will get it from the system. Okay, the weighted average rate we are getting from the system, we counted the quantity ourselves, multiplied with the rate, whatever stock comes, we'll report to the bank. So can I say we are reporting to bank the fact which we found out? If you found the stock is nil, you'll report to bank stock is nil. If we are finding stock nil, we'll report to bank stock is nil. So we are doing the procedures, pay attention, we are doing the procedure which is agreed between us and the bank here. Okay, the agreed upon procedure is what? You do a procedure which are in nature of audit. They are type of audit while procedures, but only those which are agreed between you, entity, or it can be even third party. It's not necessary between me and the company, it can be between me and the bank who has agreed upon. The bank told me to go to A limited, count the stock of A limited every quarter, multiply with the weighted average rate and give the figures to them. I'm just doing the procedures which are agreed upon. Now, second word is compilation. Now, under compilation, we are not checking. So what are we doing? We are helping management in preparing something. Now, see, whenever IPO comes, Whenever IPO comes, the company has to give figures in prospectus. Actually, the data of last five years is required in prospectus. And it's not the data which is directly in your PL balance sheet. It has to be restated as per SEBI norms. I repeat, in an IPO, company is required to give last five years ke data. And the data is not what is same in PL balance sheet. They have to be restated as per the SEBI norms. Now, many times management doesn't know how to restate it. So they appointed a chartered accountant who helps them in restating the figures. So can I say we are preparing something for We are not auditing, we are not checking. And the guy, the chartered accountant who has restated the figures, he cannot be the checker of that figures later on. So agreed upon procedure is we are doing a procedure of auditing type, but which are only agreed upon. Compilation may rather than using our auditing expertise, we use accounting expertise and we are helping management in preparing something. 
Let's see. In agreed upon procedure, auditor is engaged to carry out the procedures of audit nature to which the auditor, entity or even appropriate third party would have agreed. I give you an example, bank told you to go and count the stock of A Limited. And here your report, the agreed upon procedure, the report is restricted only for the parties who have agreed upon. The report is not for general public, it's only for the parties who have agreed upon. Sir, what is compilation check? The member of institute, chartered accountant, is engaged to use accounting expertise as opposed to auditing expertise. We are helping management in preparing something. Okay, they want some reports to be submitted to board of directors. They want some summary. So I am helping them to prepare that. I am not auditing that. I am preparing on behalf of management. Now, I will prepare on the basis of data given by them. I repeat, I'll prepare something on the base of data given by management. I'm not checking the data. So, here you're not appointed to audit. Here you're appointed to have a compilation engagement. The member of institute is engaged to use accounting expertise. Clearly the word written. Accounting expertise. As opposed to auditing expertise, you collect, classify, summarize the financial information. Okay, chartered account does audit. Yes. Chartered accountant does a limited review. Sir, what was limited review? We have a separate video on it. Just surf it out, you'll get it. Third, the chartered accountant is called upon to do an agreed upon procedure. You're called upon to do some procedure which are of audit nature, but only those which are agreed. And fourth, you're engaged to do compilation engagement. Under compilation, you're not checking, you are. You are using your account expertise helping management in preparing something. So these are four services chartered accountant gives. There can be other service also. Yeah, there can be other services also like consultancy etc. Wo alag hai. Ye jo hai na, agreed upon procedure and compilation. These are called related services. And iski related standards like standards on audit, they are called standards on auditing. Review ke standards are called standards on review engagement. Iski standards, these are called standards on related services. I hope you are clear with the word agreed upon procedure compilation. If you like our sessions, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel and do share it with all your friends. We'll come up again with a new terminology and if you want me to discuss any of the terminology, write it down in the chat box. See you next time. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.